Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Serena and this is the Falco family. I am excited to get into all my haul videos for the year. I got quite a few things this time around. You guys know I try to make wise decisions, but I have pretty much run out of a lot of my resources. So I needed to kind of stack things up again. But, um... I am all done with summer camp. You guys know I did that for five weeks and now that I am trying to just jump in and get ready for the new school year, I kind of ended out camp with a trip to Ikea. <laughs> because who doesn't want to end out um, a long summer with a trip to Ikea to get ready for school, right? So we headed off to Ikea. You know that is my husband's favorite place to be with his wife. What are you trying to say, Brian? <laughs> no, I love Ikea so much. First of all, it's just fun to walk through the entire store and get a whole bunch of ideas. But I love using the stuff that they have um, for things that you know maybe they were not really used for um you guys know and have seen our little letter factory which was actually a a utensil insert for my kitchen that didn't quite fit and i ended up using it as a little letter factory a place to put all of our bananagrams and apple letters and things like that so um i like to use stuff in that way which is why i love to go and check out ikea and see what i can find um, most of the time you find things that are just super super budget friendly which is a fave so yeah that was my reward for ending off summer was to get ready to transition into our new homeschool year with a trip to Ikea. Um, I didn't take too long this time around. I kind of sort of knew what I was going in there for. My biggest um, purchase that I was looking for was, and I forgot what the name of the shelf is. I'll put it up here. But um, it was that cubed shelf and I wanted to get the large version. I have one of the smaller versions in a black color and I wanted to try and get the largest version with I think the 25 cubes um, in the white color. And so yeah, so I picked that up. And then of course I had to browse around and see what I could find. They had some really cute stuff, a lot of really cute stuff for storage. Um, and this time around, I got to, I found a couple of books and some other things, and we filmed a little bit inside so that I could share with you guys. So let me just show you what I got. I didn't do too bad, you guys. My biggest ticket item was the bookshelf, but I definitely needed that because I needed a storage space um, to try to. I try to keep things minimal in my homeschool. You guys already know that. 
um, but I just needed a central space to keep all of our supplies and things and um, this year is going to be our book year and I am going to talk more about that in future videos so I am trying to develop a nice little collection of books for our book year so I need a shelf for us to put those books on so yeah that was my that was my reasoning <laughs> so let me show you what I got first thing that I got was this I, I just found out what this is called. Is it called an abacus? An abacus? I don't know, you guys. Is it called? Is it called an abacus? <laughs> anyway, if it's not, I'll write the correct name somewhere around here. But I picked this up for Savannah. So Savannah has been talking a lot about how her favorite subject is math. She is really into math. Um, she keeps asking me every day. She asked me all through the summer if we can do more and more math. So I was just trying to find some extra things um, for us to use during special, you know, math time. Now, I do have an app um, where I have this on an app, which is great because I can use it anywhere we go. But it's just nice to have one here at home. So I just went ahead and picked this up. I also really love the colors. So... I got that. Um, I went ahead and picked up, they have a spot with a bunch of notebooks and labels and things like that which I loved and I definitely could have picked out a lot more but I didn't. I controlled myself and I just picked these up. Um, I'm going to be organizing some of our resources using um, um, some organizing boxes that I just got that I'm super excited about and I thought these would be perfect to label those boxes. I also thought these would be perfect to go on some of my binders and some of my composition notebooks. So um, it is a roll of, you know, Ikea doesn't do the best job at explaining what you're getting. So I don't know exactly how many is in here. Oh, it says 90 times. So I'm assuming that there's 90 labels in here and I like them um, they alternate between the craft color the white color and the chalkboard okay the next thing I picked up was these um, trays these are in like the kitchen organization section and I got four of them actually but these go along with that same um, that same utensil tray that I got for um, the kitchen that didn't fit and now I use it for a letter factory. I thought these would be good to use for just storing manipulatives and putting them out on their desk. So right now I'm just kind of storing some colored pencils and our um, Explorer and Settlers card game from The Good and the Beautiful. So I am storing this and like these, I have a lot of this type of stuff. I've got bugs, I have um, sea creatures, and then I have these safari, are they safari animals? But these animals, I think they're perfect for holding these, so. The next thing I picked up was just some basics. I've got some chalk. I like their chalk, it's nice and simple. Nothing super fancy, works just fine. These are some of my favorites because they're really easy for them to use. They are not much mess because they just kind of like um, twist the top off and it's kind of like a pin. So they're kind of drawing painting or whatever. Um, and I love the colors. I wish they came in other packs of more colors that would be really nice but every time i go to ikea i try to pick up a pack of these i love them so much okay um the next thing i got is this hourglass that's not an hour it's definitely i think two minutes and it certainly took me a very long time i kept putting it on a timer to see how long it was and then i would miss the timer but um it's it's two minutes you guys <laughs> It's two minutes. Anyway, I thought it was really cute and something that I could use to kind of calm them down or let them keep time in a fun way. I'd like to find some more, but how pretty is it? It's so pretty. The kids are giggling in the background, you guys. Sorry. Um, the next thing I got is this uh, little basket. I got two of these, actually, and they're super cute. It's like a structured little basket, and it has this like waterproof material on the inside so I thought that was going to be super helpful just in case I spill something like paints and stuff which definitely would happen around here um and right now I am just storing I think just some resources in one of them 
and my fan decks my fan decks and some books are in one of them and then i have our osmo stuff in the other one so it's working out really well so i like these they're super cute and they're inexpensive i might go and get some more i just didn't know where i was going to put it so i figured i just just start with two right start with two the next thing i got i feel like i could never leave ikea without some type of plant whether it's a fake plant or a real one i have to walk out of ikea with some kind of plant and brian would not let me get the plants the real plants that i wanted at the time actually we just didn't have enough space for them so i picked this one up but i have this little succulent and it's so pretty it's so pretty so i just need to find a pot to put it in but it's just nice to have these around the room they are really nice to look at i'd really like for them to be real but we're working on that because my thumb is not green <laughs> i'm working on it so <laughs> So, but it's really pretty though and I thought I could use it for you know for a prop for photos and just to look nice in the room so I got this one the next thing I have I actually did not get this time around but um, I did get it I think on my last trip to Ikea and I had quite a few people ask about it so I figured I'd just show it but I got these desk um, what is it called like desk stands. I don't know what they're called, you guys. This desk stands. But this is what we use to prop up their iPads and sometimes books. So I just got three of them. I have two black ones and a pink one for Savannah, of course. Um, they come in handy for sure. I just like to have them so that they're not always laying their iPad down on the table. Um, and then sometimes we put our workbooks up here just so that they can sit up properly. I feel like Actually, another thing I really love them for is the fact that they save some desk space because my kids tend to have like a lot of their little toys, whether it's like Legos or pencils, and it like bothers me for them to have it all spread out on their desk space. So with these, um, they can put their workbook or their iPad or whatever on the actual um, stand. And then the way it sits up, they can tuck all of their stuff underneath it, which <laughs> I'm extra, but this is everything to me <laughs> so and so they just stuff their little toys that they're fidgeting with or their pencils or their crowns underneath this space and they know that that helps mommy to feel like the space is clean and clear and I can move on with my life I know I know I'm getting better I'm so getting better at the whole lived-in feel but it's hard for me I function well when things are visually in place so I like these a lot for that I can't remember how much they were, but I'll definitely try to link everything that I got in the description box below. So hopefully I can find them online. The last thing that I got were these books. I have not read them yet. I, I My intention was to read them before I showed them to you so I could tell you like, oh, this story was so amazing and it had this, this and that. But what I really liked besides them being super cute was I really like to, um, I love it when I find like illustrated books that have quite a bit of words in them like they stepped it up a level or two and um, have quite a bit of words and a bigger range of vocabulary and things kind of like um, the bear who wasn't there in the fabulous forest I know I showed that to you guys um, a few videos ago but I love books like that they're like advanced picture books I feel like there's not enough of them um, I feel like they took pictures out of the books way too soon uh, when you could start to step up into chapter books. Um, so I'm always on the hunt for a nice big picture book with a good story that has a lot more words. I found quite a bit of a range when it came to the vocabulary. So that was a bonus for me. Now I don't know what the story is like. Um, I have to go ahead and read through them. But for the price it was worth it. So I picked up The Frog Prince the friends in fantasy forest which brian was cracking up laughing because he thinks the characters in this one are very strange looking and they are but that's okay because it shows imagination <laughs> and then the last one is the owl goes on holiday so i thought they were super cute books and um i'll keep you posted after i actually read them once i have a moment have you guys started your homeschool year already 
We just finished up our first week, which was super exciting. It's a slower pace, but it's a lot of like introductory, you know, not get to know the kids because obviously I already know the kids, but we do those types of things. So we're introducing them to all of the new resources we have and all of the new exciting ideas and our theme for the year, or our focus for the year, any changes to the schedule, and we are trying to get into a new routine because they are growing up you know they're a year older now that we're moving over into the new year and they can do more things um, they're capable of more so that's the type of stuff that we focus on in the first week i'm hoping to be able to do like a a recap of our first week um i would have loved to have vlogged the first week for you guys but it's just such an important week for me um because i am I have this plan laid out and I need to try and make adjustments and changes and really just focus on them. So I'm hoping to just kind of sit down and talk through our first week, but I won't have any like vlog style videos through our first week because I really just need to focus on them, you know, and our new plan and get excited and just kind of get that foundation down. So yeah, if you've started off already, I pray that it has been going well and that you're able to make adjustments and changes with grace and all of that other stuff. So yeah, that's all I got from Ikea. I had so much fun going, I want to go back, but um, that was my little Ikea haul. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. I have several more, well, like maybe four or five more haul type of videos coming up, and then more organization videos to show you how I organize the bookshelf that I got, and where I'm putting things, and how I'm labeling things. All of that stuff is coming up, so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it talk to me in the comments below and please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already and you would like to see more videos from us and i will see you in our next